Welcome back to the farm. We're going to feed the city. So far, we can barely, barely feed ourselves. But it's okay because doing, doing a project as big as this farm is a work in progress and it takes a long, long time to nail it completely. But baby steps and eventually you'll get there. Now, we were definitely going to do bees, but oh, we're, just, we're just swamped by the amount of tasks we've had on our farm. And looking at the whole thing, We've achieved a lot in our small time here. So we've got the power generation all up and running in the windmills. And the power banks over there with the capacitors. That's all a super complex system. Well, not super complex, but it all works just fine. We've got the llamas, a little mini garden, our cooking for blockheads kitchen. And this was kind of like a, a proof of concept. Because once we get some restaurants built over at the city, where we ship our, uh, our food to, this can be our test kitchen. We work out what we need over here, all the ingredients and the materials, and then we ship those directly to the food kitchens in the restaurants. And each one of those restaurants can have a kitchen just like this one, where they prepare the food so that it's nice and fresh for the customers. Anyway, this episode, we're going to finish up the cow and sheep barn. What time is it? It's 02.24 in the daytime. So we should be okay. Now, where did I put the machines? I've stored everything that we're going to need to get these things up and running. Animal feeders, check. Baby separators, check. The sewer, we're going to worry about next time. But I looked into mob crushers. So instead of the animal slaughterhouse, a mob crusher will, and I'll reference the book on this one, a mob crusher will kill any entity in front of it as if it was a player, but it will also collect the items that are dropped. We're going to have to put an adult filter add-on in there so that it kills only grown-up animals. So that's the one thing we haven't prepared. It needs any eggs, some golden ingots, and some plastic. So we have all of that, I think. Bam. Adult filter. There we go. Strictly, strictly no children. Adults only. This is a rated 18 machine. Duncan's still up there in the sky watching us. Old, old Dunk Cam. Don Kong Cam. How's it going? So, where are we going to put down these machines for maximum yield? I'm going to demonstrate on the cow part, and then we'll move over to the sheep part. Now I dug a hole underneath the barn and let the grass spread through, and that's meant that these sheep can now chew on the grass and replenish their fur coats. I've also added a, a little kind of passage funnel here. And we're going to put the baby separator in the middle here. And it's going to suck the babies from in here out to over there. So first up, the feeder. This is going to go in the middle of the wall. So we're going to have to remove these spruce wood stairs because they'll otherwise make it look a bit messy. We can replace these once we've got the machines in place. This should be the middle. Yep, yeah, looks good. Bam. The animal feeder in position. And we'll put just a little, little nobule on it. So we're going to need some wire coils. Now I mentioned that we want some insulated wire coils because the animals will touch the wires and die. But I have a feeling that we can keep uh, all of the coils, all of the wiring, away from the actual animals so they don't actually take any damage from them. So we've got some wire relays. I should have... Did I made some uh, some connectors as well. There they are. Get rid of this raggedy rag stuff. There we go. The dump chest. Living up to its name. So I've got the wiring. Check. The adult filter. The mob crusher. And the baby separator. Okay. Now let's go plug these bad boys in. The baby separator sucks from the front, I think, and puts the babies in the back. But let's double check that's the case. Move babies from the back to the front. Okay. So it moves babies from the back to the front. So is this the back? This is the front. So it's going to suck from the other side. So we need to dig this up. And put it down from the other side. There we go. This is the front, and that's the back. It's going to suck animals from over here and put them this side. And now that's in position, we're going to put the mob crusher over here. Perfect. Now this should all work. 
The animal feeder does require wheat, though. So we'll have to uh, get a reasonable way to farm a lot of wheat. But for the time being, we can just put down some big old fields to yield some big yields. Okay, let's golden lasso because this cow's in the wrong part. We need him around the other side so he can mate with his bro. Check. Okay, let's put a nobule on this. And now we hook it up. That should work. Perfect. Now, we, we could plug the mob crusher in, but I don't want to yet because um, we're not ready. But I can at least put down the connector. Okay, now also, one thing that we didn't yet make that I knew I had to, but I forgot, is the range upgrade. We need to upgrade the range at which both the baby sucker and the animal breeder work. So if we select range, here we go. So the range add-ons start from cobblestone and they go up to lapis, then to iron. Four is copper, and five is bronze. Now we have the extra bronze ingots, and we've got some glass panes. It pains me to say. Ho ho ho. So if we get... Where is the bronze? Now I'm, I think the blocks of bronze can't be... Oh no, they, they can. They can be turned into ingots. Perfect. Let's make some bron bronze range add-ons. One, two... We're going to need, we need four of these in total. Two for the sheep as well. We've got the adult filter, right? Okay, let's go plug these bad boys in. We're also going to need some wheat. So let's see if I can... I'll just go and pinch some from the farm for the moment. So here we go. The animal feeder. We want to put the range upgrade in here. But let's right-click on it first. And I think you can put the range adder in the side. Okay, looks good to me. Put some wheat in there as well. And is this working? Oh, it works! It works! Kablamo! This thing is making babies. So that is in full operation. Now we're going to need to get some electricity to the baby separator. So there's only one thing for it. We're going to have to modify how these fences work. So if we put fences both here and here, we should be able to bring some power into the side of the building using a flow-through block. If we put a connector knob on the top, and this should be far enough away that none of the animals get exploded by electricity. And with a range add-on, it'll suck a baby from real far away. So, I put the block down. Put the relays on either side. I'll go inside now. Now you have to put the relays down before you put the wires in. Is it there as well? Now, the engineer's hammer should change this block for us. Oh, it's not working, and do you know why? I think it's because it's not the right type of block. So the, the immersive engineering mod doesn't realize that uh, fir wood planks are a basic block. We're going to have to use something even more basic than fir. So let's see if we can go and find ourselves some stone. So the arrayed bricks work last time, and I kind of like the idea of just the brick being in there makes it look like it's insulated. No. So the brick goes down. The wire relay goes on this side, and the wire relay goes on the other side. Wait, why is this not working? Oh, I see! Oh, I think actually fir wood would work. But we used the wrong kind of things. We're supposed to use the connectors, not the relays. Right, okay, mischief managed, let's do it. Connector mm. two. Hit it with the hammer. Ah, it's worked! Excellent! Perfect. Now we'll plug it in. Put the upgrade in. Oh no, it's already got the range upgrade. So this should be on. This should be sucking babies up. Wait, stored energy 0RF. Oh, we're not plugged in on the other side. I see. So babies take roughly 20 minutes of... Ooh. Let's just float up. Babies take rough... Ooh, getting a bit high. Uh-oh. Babies take about 20 minutes of in-game time to turn into adults. We don't quite have that long. It should be working. Let's go and see. Have the babies been moved? 
One has. No, two have. But are they stuck? Are these bad boys jammed? I think they might actually be stuck, you know? And if that's the case, it means we need to redesign this just ever so slightly. So if we plug in the connector on the side of the machine instead, this frees up some space for us. So if we put a fence on top of this thing, that should protect the cows from the electricity over here. We'll just close the gate, put him over here. Yeah, no, he's actually happy. So the babies now live on this side, but these cows also kind of have a cool down. So let's go and see if we can find some other cows out in the wild to, to supplement our stock. Okay, so we have a bunch of cows in there now. Still just the one baby, the other one being stuck underneath. But why aren't these new cows breeding each other up? Curious. Let's check the machine. Oh, the machines went out of uh, wheat. Boom, 15 wheat. That should keep these cows going for a while. I'm going to save the rest because we want to make some... Uh... Has it worked? Yeah, it has! So we've got some more cows over on this side now. Okay, this all seems like it's going to work quite well. And last but not least is the mob crusher. Oh, -ho -ho. Now this is a tough one. This is a tricky one. We've got to get this right. So we need to put the adult filter into here. Boom. This should kill any adults that get sucked in. So I think you can actually speed up the growth of a cow by feeding it. So let's see. Oh yeah, here we go. So this one's going to grow up in... Oh, here we go. I've lowered it now to 15 seconds. So the second he gets big, he should get sucked up into that grinder. Or will he? Any second now. Oh, there he is. He's big. And is he going to get ground up? Oh, we didn't put the range add on in the mob, uh, mob crusher. Oh, there we go. The second I put the range add on in, we've got, bam, one raw beef, one leather, and solidified experience, actually. That could come in super handy later on. So, proof of concept, it works. So the cows breed with each other, the babies get sucked to the next compartment where they, where they hang around. When they're grown up, they get sucked into the mob crusher, and the mob crusher creates leather and steak. And we can just, on the same principle, we're going to build the same machines over on this side. We're going to recreate the uh, setup we've got in the middle here. And, uh, and then we can have sheep that do the same thing. They get bred over here, get sucked through into here, they grow up, and they get turned into lamb. And I think, I think they drop lamb. But also, we don't need to bother shearing sheep. Because, well, we could use a rancher, and it might be actually quicker. But if we can get enough sheep over here, the babies that do get bred, when they grow up, they'll die, and that will create the wool that we need anyway. So we've got in here a leather farm, a beef farm, a wool farm, and a mutton farm. It's getting late, but before I sleep, I'm going to see what sheep's actually drop. Is there any mutton? Mutton. Raw mutton. Mob drops from a sheep. So it's guaranteed, pretty much, most of the time. So we're going to get mutton and beef, leather and wool. Well, it's about perfect time, because it's getting late, and uh, I'm going to call it. Thank you for watching. Feed the city. I'm going to set up these uh, other machines over on the other side, while you guys are away. And then when you come back, we can start thinking about sewage. And if we can get a sewage system in place, we can suck the poo from, uh, from these animals, turn it into fertilizer, and then use the fertilizer to make infinite crops. Oh man, I'm pretty excited. All right, well, until next time, guys, take care.